Welcome to Into the Woods by Leaky Fingers, same person who made Concrete Crown and Seashells. Uh, I remember liking Concrete Crown, but I mean, that, that was a long time ago. I'd recommend watching it if I... I just, how long ago was that? Like, seriously. I remember it being, like, short but interesting. Damn, wait, three plus possible years ago? Damn, yeah, I played three years ago. Fuck. Damn, that's a long time ago. But I remember liking it. And that's all that matters. But yeah, Into the Woods. It's a short, five-minute experience visually inspired by the aesthetics of PlayStation 1 survival horror games. And the only description we got is, Bury the birds, they will fly through the dirt. And we look like Harry Potter. So, let us go. Let's see, do I have to do mess click? An open book is lying face down on the bed. Can I do, like, spacebar for interact? I think I might have to do the mess clicks. There's some weird, creepy-ass dolls I got on the top. Various shelves crammed full of books and toys. Um, guess I won't need to re-click that. The smell of rain is drifting in through the open window, along with a cool, gentle breeze. It's just like my current predicament outside. Intermittent, in, in, hey, intermittent flashes of lightning. Is that a typo? Yeah. Oh well. Can be seen in the distant sky. I'm Harry Potter. Ha ha. Nice. I sure hope monsters don't kill me. There's no need to enter the door right now. Little sus, bro. But okay. There's a big, awkwardly suspicious wardrobe that I don't like. There's no need to enter this door right now. Bathroom? No. Okay. Don't fall down, kid. Ugh. From walking down the stairs loading screen to opening a door loading screen. Uh well I wanna I wanna fully explore the house before going outside because if the game's title is Into the Woods, then you know the last thing I wanna do is entering the woods. No, there's no crawl space under the stairs, so I can mockingly be like, haha, I'm Harry Potter, I'm under the stairs. There's no need to oh gosh. This kid's fucking weird, but alright. I don't know what the kid wants to do, but apparently he wants to go outside. Going to the bathroom, going to bedroom, going to the kitchen. Nah, I want to go in the rain! And steal the shovel. The rusty one, yeah. What house is, uh, isn't complete without the shovel? Old car is taking up the entire driveway. I want to ride my bike in my pajamas without shoes. I'm Harry Potter. Yeah, you, you have to you have to add that slightly English accent. So it's not Harry Potter. It's I'm Harry Potter. You know, you gotta you gotta add that accent, as horrible or as butcher as it might sound. You have to you have to have that boyish kind of uh, take on it. Where am I going? No, seriously, what the fuck's up with this kid? I'm running into a lamppost. It's not my fault. It's the stupid kid. It's not my fault. I totally didn't do that myself. It's the kid's fault. I'm not taking any of the blame. Run on the road and get hit by a car. This kid wants to go in the forest. Is he brainwashed? He just wakes up from his bed one day and he's like, Oh! I want to run in the forest! I hear there's nymphs in there. Funny, I need that pretty hot. What what would a British person say in terms of like if they find something hot? I don't know. Uh it's funny, ain't it? But what would replace funny? Um sexy? Alluring? Maybe. Quite enticing, ain't it? You gotta have that. You gotta have that gruff voice too. Can't remember what was it? 
I mean, fire? Why am I all brightly colored? This is like, oh, pretty, very pretty. This is cliff though. The ground suddenly gives way to reveal an expanse of forested valley far, far below. In the distance, the black outline of a huge gnarled tree is silhouetted against the burning orange sunrise. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's very pretty. That's very... It reminds me, something like this actually exists somewhere where I live in Ontario. Uh, in a town called Bowmanville. Roughly where I used to live, so I mean, it's not like I'm doxing myself. There's a farm field where if you drive by, I, I, I would remember somewhat where it is. I'd have to ask like a family member. But there's like a farm field, and in the middle of the field, there was just like this dead tree that the farmer never took out. And it just always looked uncanny. Like It's just like you look out in the distance, it's just a plainly flat field with no, nothing usually, like every time we'd drive by it, there was nothing there. There's no crops or anything. It was just an empty field to be plowed or to be filled with some kind of food but there was just this tall dead tree like this standing in the middle of the field with nothing else surrounding it it wasn't on top of a rock or anything or a hill but it was just you know empty open field and one dead tree that never really it never got leaves it never it was just always dead and just sitting there it's kind of weird so it reminds me a lot about that But no, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? Besides looking like Harry Potter. How many shovels has this kid stolen? A mound of compacted earth juts from the ground like some kind of strange tumor. An ancient decayed shovel has been stabbed into the top. Hmm. And a really, really huge... Is this like the roots of a giant tree or is it just a rampant hill? By the store page... It says something about burying the bird, but I haven't seen anything relating to a bird to even know what kind of weird cult-like phenomenon this all is. This is it. Okay. Uh, how do I get my inventory? Uh, here. It's like some weird ritual this kid apparently does. But the implication that this stupid ass kid wakes up and is like, gets this urge to do something. Because I'm going to blame the kid for making all these mounds. What? What? He, he th threw himself on top, or is this the position of a body he threw in that... Did he want to become a tree? Um... Is he becoming a cocoon or something? wouldn't be able to know the into the woods and the description is bury the birds they will fly through the dirt I'm trying to determine like the meaning or symbolic meaning behind this 
but bury the birds. It depends on what they mean by birds. Bird, something that's free, as in, like, maybe the bird, it's an analogy for the kid being free. Birds, freedom flying sort of thing. And he's burying himself. Because I'm presuming he buried himself because we didn't really... The implication of, like, the visual or camera-wise makes it sort of feel like, you know, what would happen if the kid was holding a corpse, say, that was taped... You know, like, say you have someone handcuffed and their hands are behind their back sort of thing, or taped behind them. Sort of, you know, mafia-style, you know, concrete legs, throw them in the water and they drown sort of thing, but, you know, burying a person against their will who can't free themselves. But it, but it's heavily implied it's you jumping in in first person, and then suddenly you get, you bury yourself? Even though it looks like, but it's not in the, shown in a way that shows like the kid sort of you know reaching up and pulling the dirt over top of him although that could be what happens but his he was lying on his sides and implicative of struggling or basically wiggling around like a caterpillar sort of work, wiggling around becoming like a cocoon or shedding its skin or you know like a, or even like a shrimp or what's the other creature I was thinking about or a crayfish, even. And they say they will fly through the dirt. So some kind of basic symbolic means of, you know, shedding one's skin and flying through the dirt. But I'm guessing it's maybe meant to be maybe symbolic on the kid kills himself so he can be reborn, or some kind of weird just way of trying to be like, Hmm, well, it's either the first, I can't remember where I was going with the second one, I just lost my train of thought. Be the birds, they will fly. Because I don't think it's relating to becoming a seed for, like, a tree, as much as the tree in the distance is not meant to probably represent what a kid does. Possibly is meant to be more of a scenery that is meant to depict sort of a life and death scenario. Hmm, Maybe. Like, the tree might be in a symbolic representation of something, but not in a direct sense. The tree is dead on its own, but you burying yourself is not relating to vegetation or trees or plant life. But I'm going to say it's more about, like, caterpillar or crayfish getting out of its skin and it just needs to bury itself. There's other animals like wasps, too. Actually, no, not wasps. There's some kind of insects, you know, that bury themselves in trees. Some animals, some insects probably also bury themselves in dirt and then, you know, come out when they're, uh, when they're done shedding their skin or quote-unquote evolving. But what that has to do with the human boy and why there's many of them, I guess maybe the kid's done it multiple times already or that's just how the kid grows? Like, maybe it's just, like, he is not a human, but he's in the body of a human, and his predecessors, like, he maybe is, like, a, an insect alien, and the only way he can really grow every year or grow every few months is after shedding some skin, and that is, like, the evidence of how frequently or how often or how many times he's had to shed his skin just to reach his current form might be the other type of... Uh, type of uh, explanation. Now, that's all my theories. I could have a few more, but I may as well not waste people's time. Because, I don't know, it depends on what kind of metaphors you could make out of uh, the phrase, bury the birds. Because when I think birds, the only thing that really comes to mind immediately is the birds and the bees, but clearly not the case. But, I hope you enjoyed the short, interesting, random horror game. I don't think he's really Harry Potter, but maybe that's how wizards evolve. We never saw Harry Potter do it. He could have been doing it between the scenes of burying himself and then evolving and shedding his skin, becoming a newer version of Harry Potter, because the actor did strangely grow. Hmm, he, he was a kid in the first movie, and then he's this young adult in the final movie? We never saw the growth progress. Maybe the actor who played Harry Potter actually did bury himself and then shed his skin. Who knows? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.